What is going on guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the new Absinthe 2.0 uh, which will jailbreak the new iOS 5.1.1 untethered. This jailbreak is fully untethered and I will put a, li a list to all the devices that work for this jailbreak down in the description down below. Now guys I am on the iPad 2 and I am about to update my uh, iPad to iOS 5.1.1. Uh, my iPad is currently on um, 5.0.1 I'm going to show you that now and I'm about to upgrade this uh, using the software update on my iPad you guys could do that as well or you guys can do it in iTunes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do this it says software update connect your iPad to a power source while the download is uh, in progress to save battery so that's exactly what I'm going to do so guys as soon as this updates to 5.0.1 I'll be right back uh, to the video Okay guys, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and show you guys what to do and how to get the uh, jailbreak program on your computer while my iPad is updating. So I'm going to show you guys what to do now. Basically go ahead and load up any search engine and I want you guys to uh, search Green Poison um, on your computer. So just go ahead and do that, search Green Poison and go to their homepage website. It should be the first link here. And um, once you do that, you guys should see Absinthe 2.0 has arrived. It'll give you some information about it. And uh, over here on the right hand side, it'll say what it jailbreaks. It will jailbreak the uh, iPhone 3GS, 4, 4S, iPad 2, and iPad 3. So if you guys need stuff like that, <coughs> or this, uh, or this um, jailbreak is what I'm about to show you. So if you guys have Windows, go ahead and download it for Windows. You got Mac, download it for Mac. Or if you got Linux, download it for Linux. I have Windows, so I have already downloaded it, but you would just click the Windows thing and you would download it that way. But um, I already have it right here on my desktop, so here it is. And basically that's what the program is, it's right here. And you would go ahead and open it up on Windows uh, by right clicking and uh, clicking run as administrator. I'm not going to do that yet because we are not ready for the jailbreak process. Before you open that, you're going to want to make sure your device is plugged in, but do not open that yet, guys. Follow the video so you guys know how to use Absinthe 2.0. So I will be at, right back as soon as my iPad is done updating to 5.1.1. Okay, so now that your um, iPad or whatever device that you are trying to jailbreak on iOS 5.1.1 is done updating or restoring um, to the firmware, I'm going to show you that I am on iOS 5.1.1 on my iPad too. So there you guys go, version 5.1.1. And if I go to software update, it won't find any update because I am up to date. Um, actually, I have to sign in to my uh, thing there. And now if I do it, it'll say that I am on iOS 5.1.1. Your software is up to date. Okay. So once you guys got that step done, you guys could see that I'm freshly restored. That's what I recommend you guys do. Um, instead of just updating it through the iPad, like I said in the first part of the video. So now that, you want to make sure your device is hooked up via USB to your computer. You guys can see that it's hooked up because it says not charging up there in the top right hand corner. Okay, and once you have that done, you guys can go to your computer. And um, links down below for Absinthe 2.0, right down below guys. Um, and let's see. I'm getting the program up here for you guys. <clears throat> Alright, so once you download it, it's going to look like um, this here, okay, and you're going to want to extract the file, extract it right to your desktop, if you're new to this, if you're not, then you should know what you're doing, okay, so here it is, and um, we're just going to go ahead and open up the program, now, do not open this program unless your device is plugged in via USB, okay, so let's go ahead and open up the program okay so don't get scared if you see this this is normal but this is just what you're supposed to see when you first launch the application <clears throat> it says rocky raccoon over there on the side that's just the name of the jailbreak that untethers 5.1.1 And I'm not going to be cutting any parts out of this video, just so you guys know that this is a legit iOS 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak, and I am not trying to screw you guys over. I'm sure you got, 
you know, there's other videos out there that have gone over this jailbreak plenty of times, so. <clears throat> if the part ends up taking too long, uh, I will, you know, let it go by. But, uh, this, you know, just let your application run if it's the first time you're opening it on your computer for the first time. Okay, now that that's done, it's, it just goes away after a while, guys. Um, now that that's done, you're going to see a new folder on your de or in, inside the absentee folder that you opened. You're going to see uh, a new folder either on your desktop, wherever you put the absentee program. If you left it in this folder, you're going to see the absentee folder appear in here. And if you put it, the absentee program on your desktop, you're going to see it appear on your desktop. So just go ahead and open that up and open up the absentee that exe that's inside of this. And this is actually the program. Okay, so what you'll see is that it will detect what device you are using. An absentee detected that I am on the iPad 2 Wi-Fi with iOS 5.1.1. And, and it's detected. So all you got to do is basically click the jailbreak button and let it do its own thing here. Beginning jailbreak, this may take a while. So, And as you guys can see down there at the bottom is the uh, Chronic Devs team, Pod2G's, Planet Being. Give those guys credit for this jailbreak especially Muscle Nerd and uh, Poison Ninja. These guys work very hard on this jailbreak, you know, and they've been jailbreaking 5. Point, the iOS 5 uh, for us the whole time. So I'll give them some support if you guys want. You guys can go ahead and support them via, via PayPal. This is what you guys should see on your iDevice as it's doing this. It should say, you know, restore in progress. It's really not restoring. It's just the way that the absentee is injecting the jailbreak to your device. It says wait for reboot, not done yet, don't unplug your device. Now it looks like the iPad is rebooting. Okay, so what's the symbol? No, don't be scared if you guys see this, this is normal for the jailbreak. Okay, do not touch your device yet. I mean, yes, you see this slide to unlock, do not touch this. Like I said, guys, when you see your iDevice tell you that you can slide to unlock, it is not done jailbreaking until that bar is full like this. Okay? So now that it says done, enjoy, you can basically go to your iDevice, hit the home button, slide to unlock. Okay? And we'll scroll over, and now we have City of on our iPad 2 running iOS 5.1.1. And I'm going to open it up to show you guys that it's real. And it's not just some fake Cydia. You guys can see it's preparing my filing system. Cydia will exit so Cydia after is, it's um, ready to go. And as uh, on your computer, this is done here. You guys can go ahead and just exit out of the absentee uh, tool, the jailbreak your program, and exit out of that. You are done there. And if you'd like, you can unplug your device. I'm going to keep mine plugged in for the video. Um, and now you guys can go ahead and uh, first before I did that, I'm going to show you that I am on firmware iOS 5.1.1. I'm sure to do that plenty of times this video. So there you guys go, version 5.1.1. And again, software update will tell you the same goddamn thing. <laughs> so if you don't believe me, then I don't know. I can't really show you any other way. So there's Cydia on here, and we're going to open this up. We're going to run it that we are a user. Okay. And Cydia will open up, ready to go. And as you guys can see up here, my SHSH iOS 5.0.1, 5.1, and 5.1.1. So those are very important that you guys get those saved, as you guys can um, go ahead and restore back to the older firmwares if you have those SHSH blobs saved. So guys, thanks you guys for watching this video. If you guys, if this helped you, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button right here in this corner, and go ahead and subscribe up there if you guys would like to. And you guys can see right down here, it is iPad 2, Wi-Fi, iOS 5.1.1, Cydia 1.1.6. It is a fully functional working Cydia. It is not just a uh, fake here. You guys can see I am clicking on installed, you know, changes, sections, and Cydia. It is all working and ready to go. So guys, if this helped you jailbreak your iDevice on the new iOS 5.1.1, like I said, please give it a like and please, you know, comment down below if it didn't. 
or if it did, you know, if it didn't, um, you guys can go ahead and let me know what happened, tell me exactly what happened, and I could try to fix it. If it's something that happened that I can't, you guys are going to have to contact the developers and tell them that there's a bug with their jailbreak. It's that simple. So I will see you guys in the next video. I will be pushing out my top five or top ten city of tweaks uh, for iOS 5.1.1. Um, so stay tuned for that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.